So I thought you might be interested to find out how this Arduino based discharge circuit was uh, running and capacity checker um, that it is. I've put a few batteries through it now um, so I have some results on how well it's working but first I want to show you a little improvement that I've made. So I've updated the code on the Arduino to use the uh, serial print function and actually output the information as it goes along. And you can just copy and paste that straight into Excel or have, as I have done here, a Google Sheet uh, outputs the voltage, the capacity and the current and then you're able to make a graph like this and you can see that's a fairly typical uh, voltage curve of a battery discharging and you can see that the uh, milliamp hours the accumulation of those milliamp hours is fairly constant but now that I have a proper charger and discharger would the numbers on the Lito Carla and the Arduino marry up had I got my maths right on the Arduino based discharge circuit but I wanted to make this fair between the two different systems so I needed to check what this would discharge at and here in the manual down the bottom when the batteries are fully charged the system will automatically discharge the batteries with 500 milliamps and record the discharge current and test battery capacity. So I needed this to discharge my batteries at 500 milliamps. So a quick bit of maths Ohm's law, I equals V over R. Our maximum voltage is 4.2, so if I've got a 1 ohm resistor as my shunt and I use another 1 ohm resistor as my load, that should give me a value of 2.1 amps in that circuit. But if I use a 3.3 ohm resistor along with that 1 ohm shunt, that just gives me just shy of 1 amp. And if I use a 6.8 ohm resistor with the 1 ohm resistor shunt, just over 500 milliamps. So that's the value I need. So from a UK eBay seller, I quickly ordered and uh, received um, some 1 ohm resistors, some 3.3 ohm and some 6.8 ohm resistors, all 10 watt. And I've been using the 6.8 to discharge some cells. And the results are in. The uh, first is one of those 5,000 claimed, I should say, 5,000 milliamp hour um, 18650s I bought from a seller on eBay. And the Light Ocala says, no, I'm afraid it's only got 957 milliamp hours capacity within it. And the Arduino said 935. So what's that? A difference of 22 milliamp hours. Uh, to double check that I didn't just have one faulty cell, here's another one of those 5,000 milliamp hour batteries. The Lito Carla said this one was even worse, 903 milliamp hours, and the Arduino 922. So, a difference of, what's that, 19 milliamp hours. So, I also, through this reclaimed uh, cell from a laptop battery, it's a Samsung cell, as you can see, taken from a Samsung laptop battery. And this has got a fair bit more capacity, so I thought this one might be quite interesting. And the results, the Lito Carla, sorry about my writing there, 2147 milliamp hours and the Arduino 2131 milliamp hours. So again, just 16 milliamp hours difference. So these batteries here are a far cry from their labeled capacity, which is a shame, but as I said in my previous video, I did expect that to be honest. But I'm really pleased with the Arduino discharge circuit. It seems to be very accurate. It wor it's worked well for a couple of weeks and the numbers are comparable to a commercially available product. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, comment and like and perhaps you'll subscribe also. Thanks for watching.